What is well-being? When do you really feel well in your life? When do you truly feel well? When you're very happy, you're well. Even if you're physically ill, you're still well, isn't it? Even if you're medically diagnosed as ill, you're very happy right now, you're feeling well, isn't it? So fundamentally, well-being means a certain level of joyfulness, certain exuberance of life. What is happiness? We can say happiness is this, that, but in terms of life, your life energies are happening in a more exuberant way what then it normally happens. Depression means your life energies have become very low and state. Happiness means your life energies are exuberant. There are many ways of describing happiness. But only those who are happy know what it means to be happy. There is nobody who has not been happy. Everybody has been happy, but the problem is they are not able to maintain it, that's all. Isn't it? Everybody has been happy. In the last twenty-four hours, how many moments of joy have you known? One, two, three, how many? Maybe you can count on your fingers. Many people have nothing to count. When you were five years of age, a child, how many moments of joy did you know in twenty-four hours? Hmm? Lots of them. Isn't it? Somebody had to make you unhappy. <laughs> now somebody has to make you happy, isn't it? The whole equation has gotten reversed somehow, all this effort of life. Everything that you do, did, education, career, business, family, whatever you did, everything was in pursuit of happiness, is it so? Everything that humanity has done on this planet is in pursuit of happiness, is it so? In the last hundred years, we have done too much on this planet with the use of science and technology, We have changed the very face of this planet. Today, we have the kind of comforts and conveniences that no other generation could ever even imagine, yes? What royalty could not afford hundred years ago, today average citizens have, isn't it so? And most of you driving chariots with hundred, two hundred horses, yes? Even kings could not afford this. But are we any happier? We are definitely the most comfortable generation ever on this planet, is it so, physically? But are we also the most joyful generation? So it's not worked. Science and technology has brought enormous amount of comfort and convenience to our lives. Things that we could not imagine just twenty-five years ago are just a living reality today, isn't it? But are we any more joyful? No. And all these cons comforts and conveniences have not come easy, they have come at a tremendous cost to every other life on this planet. Yes? Every creature, from plant to animal to everything, including human beings, have paid an enormous price to create these comforts and conveniences and we are not even happy. What is the point? We are literally making a bonfire of this planet. If you are ecstatic, it's okay, burn the planet, it's all right. We are not even happy. I think it's time to really look at it, isn't it? Why are we burning it up if we are not even happy? Things happy people, do to stay happy. One, give yourself permission, permission to be who you are, permission to laugh big, to cry when you need to, to fail brilliantly, to make stuff, permission to fall apart, break down and get back up again. Permission to be different and unique. Permission to go too far and reach your dreams. Two, don't take yourself so seriously. Hold yourself with a light hand. Laugh at your foibles with amusement when things get tough or stress arises. Lift your shoulders with an oh well Know that it's never as big or life devastating as your mind thinks. Happy people trust that whatever glitch happens will work itself out. They give a huh. Huh, and so what? Who cares? Big deal. Why not? When met with resistances. Three, don't self-ruminate. I remember a friend of mine from Mississippi saying, Lynn, when are you going to stop staring at your own belly button? I insert. Southern drawl. I learn happy people don't fixate on themselves and their problems. They don't overanalyze the issue, do you? 
when they start to get stuck on a problem or in their head, they put their attention on something else. I remind myself to not have to have it all figured out. Get outside. Go back to your work. Plan something fun. Four. Don't compare. Comparison has been compared to a little death. When we compare ourselves to others, we harm ourselves. Happy people know that they are no better or less than another person. Someone will always be at a more evolved place and someone will always be less evolved. Note to yourself. Be concerned with only how to do your best and that's all. Five. Make adjustments when something isn't going your way. When your mood dips or when you feel off, stay curious and self-aware. Fine-tune the energy in your body by making adjustments. If you eat something that makes you feel poor, why eat it? Pay attention if that glass of wine the night before makes you feel crappy in the morning or that slice of pizza made you bloated or that ice cream caused you to crash, losing your focus and energy. When you're feeling stuck or heavy, take a walk. Do something different than your normal routine. Meet up with a friend. If feeling anxious or stressed, tune up with extra sleep. Meditation? Jog or a hot bath? Sex. Be of service and know how to take care of yourself. Happy people want to give back. They have plenty to share. They volunteer. Take time out to help a friend. Offer to connect people to others for their betterment. And aren't in need of getting anything back. Commit to service. But also stay aware of how to take care of yourself. When your energy gets depleted. Remember to not give away to the point that you lose focus on your own emotional, mental, physical, spiritual health. Have loving boundaries to care for yourself so that you have more to give. 7. Choose uplifting friendships. When we have friendships and conversations that are uplifting, supportive and loving, with people interested in our betterment, we are on a faster track to our own enlightenment. If you hang out with someone and don't feel great afterward, see less of that person and seek out other friendships. No bitch friend increase your happiness and nurture those relationships.